Hello everyone and welcome to the Gun and Gallade and welcome to an opening of Dark Phantasma. This is Sword and Shield set 10A. And in English it's going to be part of Lost Origin which is going to come out later this summer. Of course we have the Pokemon Go set that's coming out first. I'm excited about this set because, well, it features... Well, yours truly, and I haven't actually seen a Gallade, uh, obviously since, oops, this is going to be a little tough, there we go, don't hurt yourself while opening these, please, um, but yeah, I haven't seen like a, a ultra rare Gallade in a long time, like obviously there was the character rare in Cosmic Eclipse, but this is the first time that we've actually had Gallade in the, uh, well, I guess... It would be considered the secret rare slot, because every one of these boxes, uh, the structure is your guaranteed one secret rare, but secret rares, uh, they go from full arts upwards, and it's a very reasonable strategy. I mean, these boxes are nice and tiny, they come with 20 packs, and they look like this. If you went to a store, wouldn't you want to get one? I know I would. Uh, so, I think there's like five packs, five cards in this box, and I never open them like this, but wh so why I'm doing it now, I couldn't tell you. I'll have to use the skizzers to not look and play a fool. So, I was very lucky to get this thanks to the one and only Pokeex, because uh, she has some connections with friendly TCG, who I've never actually seen or met, or gone up to get some cards from. Oh, oh, it's a Gudra. Hello, Gudra. Oh, and there's the reverse hollow. It's a Gligar. Cool. So I guess I have to take the last card and switch them around. I was really contemplating on getting a master set of this, because I've never really... I don't really have any master sets of Japanese cards. We've had the wondrous Astral Radiance bless us recently. We're very fortunate, I think, that collectibles it's a good time to get like to get collectibles and we are so far gone from the days of uh when like vivid voltage was scarce and everyone was saying <laughs> it, it was like a, a wild time remember when it was hard to get stuff and i remember seeing videos which weren't exactly related but it was like Going to a Costco with no budget. I thought that was absurd. Oh, that's cool. I love this reverse haul, like the Pokeball. It's so good. <gasps> well, how you doing? I like that. That's very cool. This is a good sign. The first ultra rare is a Gallade V. So I'm happy about that. Very cool card. Very cool. There is, of course, the Gallade V. And then the V full art. And then there is the V character rare. I believe it's, is it a secret character rare with the black border? It's really cool. I think he, it's with Choi from Legends Arceus. I've conformed to, oh, character rare Gengar, holy cow, with the Fortune, Miss Fortune Sisters. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, character rares in the house. I approve. I approve very much. So, yeah, like I was saying, I have conformed to calling it Legends Arceus because I, I don't know, I just got used to it. <laughs> I accepted it for what it is. I used to say Arceus all the time. So, yeah. You know, originally, oh, Spiritumba. Oh, cool, Gengar Hollow. I was, uh, see, the binders come in very specific formats and make sense and I'm just, I have my Brilliant Stars, part of my Astral Radiance binder, and then I was like, oh, the last 37 cards will fit, because the la there's 37 Ultra Rares and Character uh, Trainer Galleries, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's what I'll do, but I would love to do one, like a whole, like, look at these Reverse Hollows, they're so good, <gasps> oh, Enamorous V, what a fascinating alien lady, all full of love, makes you wonder how she disappeared <laughs> it's kind of funny because um, it's a bit of a little 
story that I haven't finished yet. What is my problem? I, I finished the main series, the main story, and I didn't do the post story. I actually wanted to, like, collect all the Pokemon, but for some reason, after... Oh, cool! Pikachu Reverse Hollow. This is such a great card. And an Arcanine. Hisuian Arcanine. What a cool Pokemon that is. But like I was saying, I think there's 20 packs in this box, actually. And there's six cards per pack. I just love how these open, too. Whoa! As I nearly send everything flying. Oh, Ms. Uh, well, no. It's not Ms. Drevis. What is my problem? Oh, uh, is this, uh, oh, Arezu. Oh, that's, that's a cool, the Volo full art is great in this set. That is Miss Drevious and Miss Magius. I loved seeing um, that Alpha Miss Magius near the cemetery in the Coronet. Is it the Coronet Highlands? I believe. Ooh, something's here. I think there's a character rare in this pack. Okay, Clefable. Nice. Oh, a V Star. I am mistaken, but not a bad mistake at all. Magnezone V Star. Oh, that's cool. There's a full art Magnezone. We got a set that actually gives um, Magnezone some uh, some attention. First time since Flashfire, I believe. It's kind of wild when you think like how many ideas Pokemon can come up with, and like Pokemon they can give special attention to. I've been paying a little more attention to attacks recently. Oh, cool. We have the Snorlax character rare. And the Zoroark Hollow. Like I was saying. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, though. Yeah. It's, uh... Well, I, was t I was talking about how there's, like, so many ideas that Pokemon can work with, and it's true. Like, these alternate arts and character trainer galleries. It's a good time. Modern's having a great time. And... Even though I feel like Evolving Skies is a little bit too much of a mishmash, but when you look at that final page, it's pretty wonderful to have as a master set. And it's one of those things that's always going to have the value, but the big question sometimes is when do you get so when do you get stuff because things go down in price. Like for example, the Charizard V Star Rainbow Rare was like two hundred plus dollars Canadian, and now it's like oh I love that card. Now it's like uh, about 150 if you're lucky, but stores will sell for more. But I have seen them go for about 150. And um, so, when do you, do you wait or do you not wait? And I think even last summer, you know the the alternate arts from Evolving Skies actually were fairly steady, fairly reasonable, and now. Oh, nice, Magnezone V. But now, it's kind of like they're, they've become more scarce and more expensive. So, I think it's just because modern cards go through this weird circulation. And I don't think common cards or modern cards, like cards that are out now, I mean... There was a more of a limited print run to the... Oh, cool! Radiant Gardevoir. Whoa! There's so much going on here. Wow, that's a that's so much more. I mean, the, the English one is pretty nice too, but this takes it to a whole new level. Holy smokes! Okay, that's a big win. But like I was saying, like base set and stuff like that uh, seems to like always be circulating. You can always find base set cards. Obviously, you like the Charizard. And the Blastoise and stuff like that is always going to be super, mm, you know, lucrative. <gasps> Beautiful! Another trainer gallery. Oh my gosh, this time with Arcanine. I love it. This is so nice. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like you can find base set around. But there's certain things that perhaps aren't as easy to find. Like, I think, uh, like a Rainbow Rare Rayquaza from uh, Celestial Storm. I just think the probability of getting something like that is super difficult. Um, it's not something that I've seen so easily around. 
and uh, and I think even like a lot of the black and white sets, like the secret rares from Next Destinies, and Dragons Exalted, those are pretty lucrative and hard to find. But the demand is just not the same. No one's gonna be talking about uh, no and no offense to Embor, uh, but like a secret rare Embor versus like a Charizard base set, you know. So doesn't have as wide a range. <laughs> but if you're gonna try to find a card like that, wow, good luck. And get one in a good enough condition. And so it makes me wonder, like, what was it like to be a Pokemon fan in, like, 2013? And, like, tw well, even, like, 2010. Because I missed out on, like, Gen 4. And, um, I got back in when they remade, uh... Oh, my goodness! Whoa, that's, that's a big win. Miss Fortune Sisters Full Art. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm thrilled about that. Holy cow. I got a beautiful full art. Trainer full art. And a second last pack. Sorry, third last pack. Wow. That's that's amazing. So there's a secret rare, so we know that there won't be any there won't be much hiding. Well, maybe a trainer gallery is hiding, but um holy cow. Because Gallade could technically be in that second last slot, so who knows? And there's another box to rip through, of course. Uh, oh, cool, look at that. Oh, okay, a V-Star. We have the uh, Zoroark V-Star. Oh my gosh, this is, a, this is a really good box. What can I say? I have some great satisfaction with this. And I think that's what's fun about uh, opening up a Japanese booster box, is you know that you're going to get a secret rare. It could be something as uh, exciting as an Aroma Lady <laughs> Rainbow Rare or Full Art. But at least you know that there's something there. And there are booster boxes that are pretty, uh, pretty subpar. So, I mean, I've had, uh, oof, I've had some, some hits and misses. It's not fun to be disappointed. It's nice to know that you, uh, you get what you pay for, right? Okay, so that was the first booster box of this very wonderful set. Lots of, and look, you, and you'll see even here, like, the, the value, uh, you get what you pay for for real. So I'm going to try to organize this as gently as I can, but basically I'd say like almost out of every box there was a hit out of every pack, every other pack. So look at that cuz now also with the trainer galleries they are in this in the reverse hollow slot. So this was worth every penny. I'm very happy about that. So good. Galade what up? Oh, misfortune. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. Well, we have one more, and uh, I don't want to take too much of y'all's time, so I'm just going to quickly rip right through this. There's also a bid, as we speak, for a Sceptile EX Full Art, and I've been on the fence about whether or not I wish to pursue completing the last page of Ancient Origins in PSA 10, because it's like, do I just spend the extra money? I'm almost there, and it would truly be like a treasure chest to have. Um, because those are, that's like, now seven years, seven years ago, so, uh, it's a set that is something that's pretty near and dear to me, very much a throwback, I remember, I'll never forget when I first, I walked into a mastermind, I was like buying my university, and I was choosing my courses, because I, I was always so serious about that, I always was like the first one, <laughs> to like, you know, I'd wake up at whatever ungodly hour to like accept or like make sure that I got into certain courses and I always like was so keen on ma mapping out my uh, my semesters and and it was like August and I was just meandering around and um, I had already been super into playing um, 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 Omega Ruby, right. I was even trying to be competitive. How cute. I tried. I did win a few games. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so good. Okay, another V-Star. Uh, Magnezone. Oh my gosh. The Sleeping Pikachu character rare has shown itself to me. I feel like I've almost... I've like... You know, I've, I've already got so many great cards from the trainer gallery that it's like... Uh, two boxes and you almost have the whole thing and that's kind of yeah it would be nice for it to be like that more often 
But to complete an English set, you'd have to spend so much time in Nether Gengar and a Volo Hollow. But like I was saying, I walked into a mastermind, I opened their binder, and I, uh, there were three cards. I, I, like, bought three singles. And I'm like, oh, I really liked Octillery. Octillery was one of my favorite Pokemon. And, um, at the time, and I still really like Octillery, of course. I really like seeing Octillery as a secret rare in battle styles. That was actually really awesome. Uh, and, like, kind of the emphasis around it. The character rare is also really funny to me. Uh, how it was depicted in that sense. But it's cool. It's very cool. So, yeah, then I wa I just I got a few packs of uh, Ancient Origins. I think I only got, like, one or two packs, and it was, like, the smell. <laughs> the smell of it got me when you open up a fresh pack. Mag Magnezone, what up? Are you going to be the full art? You know, I want the Gallade full art, obviously. What if I got a full art Magnezone? I wouldn't be that mad. It would all just be part of the bigger picture. The master set for Dark Phantasma. And again, the structure is so much more reasonable to collect in, in Japanese. I haven't seen a lot of uh, Japanese, uh, like, Poketubers who are opening Japanese packs. I just haven't really gone looking for it, but... I would love to see like how they collect and how they organize their sets. Is there, is there a prime time Pokemon in uh, in the Japanese side of Pokemon collecting? That would be very cool. I really want to go there. Uh, an Electrode V. I'd love to go to like the Pokemon Center and just have my mind blown just by everything and get a Ralts plushie because I haven't seen one. It would be really cool to actually. I have that sort of thing. Again, my uh, my Pokemon uh, fandom is not as pronounced. Oh, another Gardevoir. Another Radiant Gardevoir. Holy smokes. So that's uh, two of the three. There's a Sneasler. There is the Gardevoir. And there's a Steelix. And the Steelix is cool because uh, the shiny Steelix is super pronounced. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. And a Crobat V. Okay. I'm going to have to go and take my little friend for a stroll very soon. So, as soon as I finish this, that's what's going to go down. It's been a really random summer over here. It's been, like, not really hot, but now it's about to be scorching. We're going to have a week where we're just toasting. And I tan very easily, so I'm become an olive boy, a small olive, a big small olive. And I I know that there's been some conversations behind, um, <laughs> it's like the new Pokemon that were released, like Lechonk. It's funny because we're gonna get so sick of them. Everyone's gonna go, okay, I'm over it already. Okay, Zubat, and the rare is I had a feeling it's that border that got me. Yeah, Lechonk and Smoliv. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Someone is paying attention to the meme-dum. Or just the way that we speak nowadays. Because, you know, I couldn't imagine an executive. But I think there's like a... There's like a... Ooh, there's something here. Do you see that border? <gasps> Let's find out. What's it gonna be? But they have like their creative directors that like analyze Pokemon. Oh nice, another Zoroark V-Star. So a handful of doubles showing up in this second box. But, I mean, the Misfortune Sisters is like the biggest win so far. Undoubtedly. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, we have a... Oh, I'm like trying to see. It's like, you're going to find out, boy. Relax. I think there's a black border here. Oh, we... <laughs> How appropriate, how appropriate, if you can see the smile on my face right now. I probably look like a Kirby boy. <laughs> mm, that's such joy. Look at this. This is joy. This is so meant to be. That's so perfect. That's so perfect. Oh, man. I like this set a lot. And I can't wait to see what they, like, what are they going to blend it with? 
because there's going to be like the there's a Pokemon Go set which is going to be massive, and now obviously there's going to be uh, Lost Origins which apparently was released. There were some leaks that came out. Same standard, you know. We have the pre-release boxes and, and then the stadium. Obviously, Giratina is going to be heavily featured. Hopefully, Gal I mean, yeah, Gallade is going to be. There's going to be the full art. I'd love for there to be like a delayed thing where it's like they release, um, like the way that Espeon V Max was um, revealed a little later. Oh, Zorg V. Like the, um, I mean, it was part of Eevee Heroes, but it didn't come out until Fusion Strike, and that's like not related. But I, I'm just trying to give an excuse and hope that Gallade gets like an alternate art. That would be so good because it's been all Gardevoir for so long. Obviously, everyone loves Gardevoir. Very powerful Pokemon. <gasps> Spiritomba. Oh my gosh, that's such a good character rare. So scary. I love finding those wisps. Those are my favorite parts of the game. So, we are down to the penultimate pack, the second last. And, um, I hope that is a correct use of penultimate, but. <laughs> you know what I mean. I, th I think we didn't get the, um,. The secret rare yet? Even though that character rare, it's like in the reverse hollow slot. Am I am I correct about that? Because like it's two separate things. Oh, I'm so wrong. That was a third last pack. I got two more to go. So let's find out. Oh, it's so hot, so humid up in here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see what we got. I want more, I want more. I love opening packs. What can I say? It's so much fun. <gasps> Gudra. Ooh, baby, Gudra. Gudra is friend. That's another reason why I really like this set. Hisuian Gudra. So there should be a... This is where the secret rare is. Is that not how this works? I mean, I wouldn't be disappointed if that weren't the case, but uh, let's find out. In due time. Okay. So I think it is the case. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so the character rare fills in that slot. So, I mean, you couldn't really ask for more here. <laughs> this is so big. It is big. It is so appropriate. It's so satisfying to, like, see Gallade. I'm just taking little pictures here <laughs> while I'm filming because uh, I can do that with my phone. So, second box, I'd say, um, I mean, it made it for me because of, like, obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, even though I feel like there was, like, mm, slightly more exciting things happening in the first box, in general. But, I mean, whatever. The Gallade was pulled. So, here we go, a little recap of the second box. But look how much you get in these boxes like this is just everything you can this is what it should feel like to open up a booster box there's no disappointment here look at that three character rares and then BAM look at the texture well this is the Gunning Gallade thank you all for watching this has been such a wonderful experience to share with you all and if you wanna leave a like subscribe all that good stuff please do and um, stay tuned until the next time, bye for now.